Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, we're gonna try to do a quick study of a uh, vinyl record. Um, I saw this at uh, this movie, a Shape of Water by Del Toro, and I saw this vinyl record uh, player. And the vinyl record itself is actually really interesting if you want to try to recreate it uh, procedurally. So I don't have a real thing um, in the house. I might need to go to to the store, but uh, if you look at just Google search vinyl record, you're gonna get um, this kind of familiar shapes. Uh, you might never use it, uh, but this is definitely something that you know and you have seen somewhere. And I want to try to recreate it uh, procedurally from scratch using Sphere Chalk add-on and also I need uh, cycles material to get, uh, to get this look. Um, so let's get started. There are actually many ways to do this um, and I need to kind of try on all of them. Uh, I can start, uh, what I start with actually, it's a, I'm using a line that's being revolved. So I'll show you what I mean. So like you know already, if we have a line here and if we are using BMesh Viewer, plug the line and edges, we get a, you can see there's a line there being generated in the X axis. And if we revolve a line or let lay it, um, so this is line and edges, we're gonna get a, something that looks like a ring. And let's see if I'm doing this correctly. What does it say? Sequence correct size. So that's the vertices, that's the edges. Okay, that's the polygon go into face. Okay, so we have like a disc. This is of course a similar shape to um, if we are using like a ring and you we connect this to viewer draw, we can see this is a, this is pretty much like a record. Let's put this to the side. And let's correct this. So this is the exterior. Okay, this is the interior. So that's kind of shape that we want to recreate. Uh, I just wanna, I need to show you this one first. So we have a line and we lathe it and we get this shape, almost like a circle. If, uh, if I duplicate it and smooth it, That's what we get, right? We, we w might want to merge it. And also to be really correct, we m might want to move this in X a little bit. So we have the disc, the disc shape. And okay, that's uh, not very interesting, but if you, if you with the, with the line here, if we use like a randomizer, Randomize input, and we are, if we are doing it in the z-axis, you can start to see we are getting a shape that's starting to look at um, our record. Let's try changing this step, step, and then make more details, and maybe reduce the displacement here, like a random displacement, and this should be what's the record actually looks like. The actual thing, if you are displacing um, this guy, although it's actually, this one is kind of flat and if we just duplicate it and add solidify, that's not not 100% correct, but it's, uh, it's, it's kind of, kind of almost like a disc, but uh, you have to do it in both sides. This is if we want to use a line to do it and get uh, like the displacement, um, the record itself actually um, is not actually like a line like this. It should be like more like a spiral. So when the record is being played, it's gonna go from the inside and then go outside, and then it's gonna play music based on this uh, displacement roughness. That's kind of the idea. But uh, this is probably for the next more. Um, more advanced vinyl record. So I'm gonna save this. 
but I'm gonna use a different method. I'm gonna use this ring, and so I'm just gonna plug this into that guy, and we get uh, something that looks like a panel, but uh, this is only one shape. We need uh, the inside, the label, and the, the actual vinyl. It's uh, You can do it in many ways, but I'll try... Let's see. So we're gonna have two of these guys. So I'm gonna duplicate this and set this name to better. So this is gonna be the exterior, this is gonna be the interior. So the shape this is going to be the inside shapes, the label, and this is going to be the, the other one. Both will need a different shader. I'm going to switch to cycles and give a material for this guy and also this guy. The inside will have a uh, color. I'm going to leave this one black for now. Switch back to spare chop. We need to ensure the the exterior of a smaller disc actually the same size as this guy. So that's pretty easy. It should be just use a um, a number. Plug this into the exterior of this. Make sure this one actually match the interior of that guy so so we can really control our disk here we go we got our disk and this is really really flat but you can use solidify if you like to do it like quickly so solidify of course add a it should add thickness there you can't really see it Okay, let's go back to this. So vinyl, of course, you need uh, to get all these details. You need to work on the labels itself, and then. But uh, what I'm interested in is the the actual circular pattern. So I'm gonna show you a quick one in cycles. You need to use a um, texture coordinate and also wave. Texture. This is one of my favorite texture, and also you need to have a mapping. So once again, generate it goes into this guy, vector goes into this, the result goes into the color. So we start to get something that's uh, repeating. We have uh, we need to switch the, to the ring. The ring needs to be in the center. So this should be minus 0.5. This is the quickest way we can generate a circular pattern using cycles so I simply adjust the scale and this of course uh, currently plug into the diffuse we can use the principal shader and this should go into the displacement if I'm not wrong if I'm if I'm doing this correctly um, and the displacement need we need to separate the XRGB and combine it back here. Actually, instead of using RGB, I will use XYZ and combine the XYZ here. So the color goes in there, but I'm just gonna need to use the Z plug into the displacement. Hopefully, this is work as planned. So this guy should be more metallic I need to have a light let's use point light and let's see if this is correct the color should be darker we just need to see the the hint of the displacement that's going on so let's try I'm gonna use the uh, sunlight let's see if our this uh, real-time displacement is working correctly in here in cycles so the color let's plug it into the base color 
So I think this is actually kind of correct. It's just I need to go back to side uh to scratch off for our ring. We need to have more detail. There you go. That's much better. Let's go back to cycles. This guy will need to have more details also, but the displacement doesn't need to be that high. So we need to use math here and multiply this with a value. And also we we might need to use a add minus 0.5 should be now our displacement should be centered now so vinyl of course have much more detail that's what we need and we don't need to plug the displacement into the color put it up here should be a lot tidier unplug this and we should get our record starting to happen um, this color should be darker we might also need to use uh, an anisotropic and play with the rotations to get a the correct result but you get the idea yeah this is uh, starting to look like a vinyl this should have more detail so go back to square chop I'll increase this to 100 by 100 even higher 200 by 200 so now you can see the actual result this is like a real-time displacement happening on our procedural vinyl created using scratch off of course this is not like not yet 100 percent correct because of sometimes vinyl actually have a quite distinct uh, displacement here like a distinct stripes in circular so it's like a you need to almost like mix two different um, texture we can do that in cycles but uh, I'm not gonna do it now but you, you kind of similar idea you can use another ring and this ring is not like uh, it's gonna have like a more um, bigger stripes to get this so you can see there's a visible line there and there's another another stripe that's actually more detailed so it's minimum you need a minimum two stripes um, but in general you kind of have this already happening and if I go back to scratch off and I'm adjusting this value this guy should update in real time so if I want to have like a smaller labels I can just simply do that and it updates correctly if I go back to cycles here and you know if I use like a random value and color ramp and here if I'm using if I use a HSP and try to make like a random color everything should work as planned so let's change this value into let's try red and this guy should be like that blue if we use this random as a color ramp we're gonna have if I duplicate this guy I should have different color there you go that's just a quick trick you know you can easily have random value plug into this uh, cycles material random goes into color ramp into the diffuse and you should have that uh, random color assigned so there you go that's actually the basic idea I can make this notes uh, much better I mean in terms of um, setup right now is very very simple two ring they're both like a separated object if you look at in the outliner we're gonna have like two objects for each final record ideally this should be a single uh, a single object per vinyl 
um, where the labels is actually just a separate um, objects but uh, within the same object so I probably a more correct way is to really combine combine the ring and then output a single object and with that single object you need to have a two materials on a, on this guy so instead of having one material for the label and one material for another object you really want to have like a multiple material and assign a different index for the face I will do that I think on the next video if I still stick uh, if I still want to continue with this final setup that might be a good idea but you get the idea so with cycles uh, real-time displacement and the wave texture you can get this uh, vinyl look uh, very very easily even though like I said this is not 100% correct but this is kind of looking like a vinyl already if you want to be 100% correct this should be a spiral yeah instead of just a wave uh, repeating circles but this should be fine for most cases um, so yeah this movie you should watch it really this is I'm pretty sure this is a 3d object uh, you might maybe I, I should try to make the case as well uh, in procedurally using SketchUp. but uh there you go final record and 3d procedural creations and procedural shader using cycles you can really make this um, all procedurally automatically using Blender. So thanks again for tuning in um, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.